Hello. Today I'm going to go over some of the basics of the moon, so Earth's moon, and um, some of its features. So when we see this first image here, what we're seeing is a representation of the formation of the moon. So very early on in the Earth's history, there was a lot of stuff flying around the solar system. And as the Earth was forming, there was things that were colliding with it. And at some point, we had an Earth-size object get impacted by about a, a Mars-size object, okay? So the formation of the Moon started with a collision between Earth and what's called the protoplanet. So this small um, Mars-size uh, planet was called a protoplanet, about the size of Mars. And this representation here is just showing an animation of what happened after the collision. Obviously, huge amounts of energy were released, blowing the planets into bits. The, most of the chunks would swirl in the center. So this is the Earth and the Moon debris would swirl towards the center, reforming the Earth that we know of. But the rest of this debris on the outside would come together to form the moon. And this slowly happened over, you know, millions of years. So after the impact of these two bodies, most of the material coalesced, coalesced means comes together, into the Earth and the rest formed the moon that we see today. All right, let's take a look here. And you see this big rocket. So this has to do with actually going to the moon. So sending people to the moon. This is the Saturn V rocket. And they made many trips using the Saturn V rocket. And at first we were just uh, orbiting the moon and then we were testing out um, like where could landing sites be so the first time we went to the moon in the Apollo rocket we didn't actually land on the moon so exploration of the moon started with the Apollo program so you've heard of the Apollo program this is Apollo 8 Apollo 10 Apollo 11 and the Saturn 5 rocket so those are the big um, uh, components of our exploration of the moon. And then down here, we actually see some images from when we landed on the moon. So eventually humans set foot on the moon and we collected samples, samples of rock, samples of dust, um, whatever we could easily get from the surface to better understand the moon and its origins. And these footprints are actually still there, by the way. Uh, you have to remember, there's no atmosphere on the moon. So, and there, that means there's no wind. And these impressions will stay there for, uh, you know, until something comes along and either an impact hits it or something um, removes it. But it'll stay there for millions of years. So now a couple of the types of craters, because we see all kinds of craters on the moon. Again, there's no wind, there's no erosion, there's nothing that gets rid of these craters. Um, the basic type of craters, this one that you see here, this is a simple crater. So it's called simple crater. Simple craters are small and have smoother sides. Um, they tend to have kind of this rounded basin bottom and um, you'll see these all over the surface. Uh, again, typically are smaller in size. And then as you get bigger, you get complex craters. Complex craters um, have more going on to them, uh, with them. They, they tend to be larger. Oftentimes they'll have raised rings around the outside. So the, the ring on the outside is actually almost like a mountain range. It's lifted up as opposed to here which it's only slightly raised. So they'll have raised rings or they'll have what's called a central peak. 
and a central peak, you can kind of see one here. It's a little like mountain in the middle of that crater. And that all has to do with how the impact happened. Um, but also in this image, you'll notice that the old craters just start to get worn slowly away. You know this is the old one because there's all these other craters inside of it. And this crater here has covered up part of this larger crater. So you know this larger one is older and you see this all over the moon is that there's all these um, craters within craters on top of craters. All right, well, I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions.